नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर के सी निश्चल प्रैक्टिसिंग एज ए कंसल्टेंट डर्माटोलॉजिस्ट एट निर्मल स्किन एंड हेयर क्लिनिक बेंगलुरु आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग सिंस 2007 थाउजेंड सेवन एंड डर्माटोलॉजी हैज सीन वास्ट एक्सपैंशन एस्थेटिक डर्माटोलॉजी हैज बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ क्लिनिकल डर्माटोलॉजी एंड वी आर केटरिंग टू बोथ एस्थेटिक डर्माटोलॉजी एज वेल एज क्लिनिकल डर्माटोलॉजी सिंस टू थाउजेंड सेवन हाइपो पिगमेंटेशन टेक्निकली मीन्स एन इंक्रीज इन पिगमेंटेशन हाइपर इज मोर पिगमेंटेशन मीन्स कलरेशन दैट इज योर डार्कनेस so hypopigmentation is a condition where there is darkening of the skin and the darkening of the skin can be because of various reasons and the main thing which contributes to the darkening of the skin is melanin so if at all the melanin comes down the skin looks much better so one of the simplest techniques of reducing the melanin is exfoliating and causing reduction in melanin and for this peels have been used The additional benefit of the peel is they do have some residual effect which helps in reducing melanin synthesis as well. So that is how peels help in reducing the darkness and improving the tone and texture of the skin. Now the thing is which is the best peel? See there is no one ideal thing in the world. Be it for a peel or for a laser or for any simple thing in life. See it is like for that situation which is the best thing what we can use. So for reducing the pigmentation we use glycolic based peels which are nothing but alpha hydroxy lip peel we use some sometimes salicylic along with glycolic acid there are other peels like azelic acid mandelic acid trichloroacetic acid we use phenol based peel so there are various molecules which can be used to reduce hypopigmentation see as i told you there is no one thing which can do all the job so for that reason many a times we go ahead with a combination of these molecules to give best result so nowadays a combination peel which contains some amount of glycolic some amount of salicylic or azelic acid or trichloric acid is commonly practiced see this helps in improving the penetration of the molecules they have a additive effect when they are done in a synchronized manner or when we do it as a combination so then the results are much better and the side effect profile can be reduced so nowadays if you ask me it is not one single peel what we are using but it's a combination peel which works best for hypopigmentation second thing is coming to the home treatment with a peel see basically all the peels are acidic in nature it is nothing but an acid see it is glycolic acid salicylic acid azelic acid trichloroacetic acid so whenever it is an acid basically they are also an irritant so if you do not know how well to use an irritant molecule then it can cause you an adverse effect rather than a desired effect so basically they have an acidic ph and can definitely cause some damage to the skin if not used in the right way so for that reason peels as dermatologist i would not recommend it you to use at home rather what you can do is you can get serums and creams of the same molecule So instead of going it with a glycolic peel you can use a glycolic based cream or a serum they are much more controlled they are much more safer and adverse effect profile is very less with these serums and creams so my honest and sincere advice is if you really want to use a peeling molecule let it not be a peel but a cream or a serum which contains that molecule that is much more safe see we need to get good results right but it is not at the cost of a side effect so just think over that and go for a safe option